Swiney Bozo. Yo, it's the future in now. Yo, it's some dash. You hey, man. This is Heat Hustle, man. What I've been teaching nine times ten, the problem child. Tune in to GFG TV. Be normal. You're now tuned in to GFG TV. As you tuned in to GFG TV, you know what it is, man. And you're tuned in to GFG, you know what I'm saying, TV. Tap in. Uh, you're now tuned in with GFG TV. West West YouTube, it's your boy Big Ray West. You tuned in to GFG TV. Well, you know what it is, boy. It's your boy T-Bear. I'm live, right here. On GFG TV. In your face, man. In your face. And before we get to this question started, I need y'all to like and subscribe. You know what I mean? You like, dislike it. Then what I want you to do is go some other stuff. Like and subscribe. You know what I mean? Hey, keep in contact with us. Because you never know. This is long overdue. What else is long overdue? In your face. Uh, what are your thoughts on Kanye West? Oh. Uh, I. You know what? I Honestly, I... <coughs> I don't know what to think. I don't really take him. I mean, as in when I say take him seriously, I don't pay him too much mind. I just let him be him. If that's, I think maybe his his mom actually shook his system to where he never just went back to being him ever. You know what I'm saying? Like after his mom passed, he just decided to to live however he wants to live. You know what I mean? Like it actually shook him a different way. Definitely. I don't really think too much. As in to dislike him, you know what I'm saying? So I still fuck with his music every now and then. So it's not like I, you know, I might not like what he does all the time. You know, it's just you know the little creep shit. You know, like I wouldn't do that. Like if she decided to be with somebody else, she decided to be with somebody else. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna move right across the street from her. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. He's, like, he's you know. ultra. Like he, yeah. he, he's ultra at everything he does, though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like that motherfucker doesn't do anything normal, yeah. though. Yeah, like see. I don't know. Well, I think to understand define, define normal, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that's why I said. I, and he even I can't believe you would move across the street from your girl. Ultra. If she left you, <laughs> she, if I wanted to, if I had the money. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's not, see, I'm not on that level. Like, I, mean, I don't know, man. I, I just feel like everybody, you know, think differently. Exactly. Obviously. You know exactly. What I'm he is exactly, yeah, I don't, I don't, like I said, he is exactly who he wants to be. Like I said, I just believe his mom, his mom just shook him to, he just lives differently. Like, he, he don't live the way, or perceives himself to be the same anymore, you know? Yeah. Yeah, he definitely is on his own. His own, his own time. time. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. He's in his own multiverse. If you could have uh, dinner with three, uh, any three people that are alive, who would they be? Uh, Bill Gates. Uh. Uh, Robin Harris. Robin Harris. Uh, you know what would be really cool just to sit down and just have dinner with just for no fucking reason? Jim Carrey. Yeah. Deep yeah. thinking, dude. Yeah. I just sit there and have a conversation with Jim Carrey. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Robin Harris only reason why is because, like, I feel like, so I watched some interviews with him. He was, he, he, he's different too. And then Bill Gates, of course, I would just pick his brain. There you go. Yeah. Top three comedians. Dave Chappelle. Cat Williams, Mike Epps. Mm. Well, no, hold on. No, Eddie Murphy. Mm. All right. What about uh, top five hood movies? Ooh. Let's see. No order. Okay, sure. Minister Society. Um, Boys in the Hood. Um... 
I like a. Uh, I like a. Uh, oh my gosh. Shit, 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 shit. Um, New Jack City. Um, I also like. I would consider it hood. Is it? It's not hood, but. You know what I mean? That's not hood. No, it's not hood. What? Poetic justice. That's in there. Okay. Come on, yeah. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Poetic justice. Also, like. It was good for us, you know what I'm saying? I mean, most people won't agree, but Baby Kiss was good to me. Baby Kiss? Yeah, shit. You know what I'm saying? Baby Kiss was good in our house. Like, yeah. we were stuck on that shit for years. I feel like he was, I feel like he was talking to us. Oh, like, yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, you believe in love at first sight? I believe that shit could trick you. So I believe it's real. Is that the cross between the love and the lust at first sight? Right. Yeah. You know so I believe that. I believe. I believe that you could fall with, fall in love with someone's character. At one end, you know what I mean? Fall in love with someone's character, sight. I don't know. You just think that she's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You don't know what the fuck she is. I feel like you can fall in someone's character in one day. Okay. Do you feel like you can love somebody? Just based off of seeing them. I've seen her. I'm in love with this one. No. No. I don't. I, I, I guess. Fair I guess I. I guess I haven't seen one to do that. Not too shallow. You know what I'm yeah. saying? As in. Yeah. As in, like, let's just be real. Like, I don't know. I just. I guess through my kid, my childhood brought me to understand that. Pretty girls just don't fuck with tea, so. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, so, me looking at you and be thinking, like, oh, I could just fall in love with you? No. Like, you know what I'm saying? Me falling in love with your character is from talking to you? Yeah, I think that could happen. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sure. That's just for me, though. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? Somebody else out there could look at you and think that. But me, I just know from a childhood, you really didn't fuck with me, so. Me just seeing you and think I could fall in love with you, no. I could fall in love with your character way faster. Yeah. Uh, what about a perfect date if a woman uh, was to take you out? If a woman was to take me out, it was already perfect. You know what I'm saying? But no, 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 no. No, to keep it real with you, uh, if she was to take me out, oh shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm a different type of dude. So take me out would be to wherever restaurant I want to go to. You know what I'm saying? And then end up at some fucking like up down. You know what I'm saying? We out there playing fucking video games and fucking drinking and having fucking fun, ski ball and fucking. You know what I mean? Play Nintendo or whatever we we out there fucking doing or bowling or something like that. Like I don't. I'm not a. I'm not, you know what I mean? Like, I don't really give a fuck about too much shit, you know what I'm saying, to understand, to have have fun. I'm going to have fun regardless, you know what I'm saying, that's a good one, because I'm, I'm crazy like that. If I'm out with my boys, we 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 just make fun off of simple shit, you know what I'm saying? Like I told you, it's not really too much here to do, and what's then we'll find a bar or whatever, and we'll get to cracking just where we at, pool, whatever. We don't give a damn, like, whatever, whatever you know what I'm saying, we doing, shit, if we got bones on us, we'll slap bones right in the middle of the bar. No fucks given. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it doesn't take much. So you going out with me, we can go out and have up, down, or we can... Shit. My man put me on to taking a trip out to fucking Temple to Ride and just motherfucking taking a tour of fucking the fucking West name. Shit sounds cool as shit. We just don't do that every day. So, uh... Yeah, I don't... Hey, you taking me out, shit. It's just... It's just seeing something new. Right. Um... Top three local eats. Oh, so we just saying like, okay, we can kind of skip that one because we already kind of covered. Yeah, you kind of. But I will mean, yeah. we'll give a shout out to you know what I'm saying Good Eatings. There we go. Because that's Good Eatings. You know what I'm saying. About to hit Good Eatings. Yeah, we about to. Yeah. Uh, what are so, uh, what are some things you enjoy doing uh, other than recording music? Working <laughs> 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 and like, oh no, 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 no. I look at people with my kids, though. I mean, you know what I'm saying? We like, 
know what I'm saying? We like, you know what I'm saying? If we out doing what we do at the mall or, you know what I'm saying? If they want to go bowling or something like that, whatever. You don't have um, any other hobbies outside of music? No, <laughs> like I mean, I don't know. I don't. I, I mean, like I can do with my my family, my my boys. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever we doing. Like I don't know. Like I just, I mean, my focus is music. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't I don't know what else to do without it because I have fucking songs in my head. I have a song in my head right now. You know what I'm saying? Like I fucking love music. You know what I'm saying? Like to it'd be like I'm cheating on her if I'm doing something else. Thank you feel you. me? What's up? Uh, favorite sports teams? Uh, L.A. Rams, NFL team. How'd that feel? Yeah, it felt great. How'd that Super Bowl win feel? Yeah, it felt great, oh, you know what I'm saying? I felt like I was running the field like, Aah! you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, uh, L.A. Lakers, you know what I'm saying? Been that way, you know what I'm saying, for a very long time. You know what I'm saying? Since Michael Jordan left the first time, I was like, look, you can't keep leaving. You know what I'm saying? So, I've been a Lakers left hand a long time. Uh, uh, baseball, uh, Cardinals fan, St. Louis Cardinals. Um, if I had to pick uh, a hockey team, only because I know like a, a couple of players, it would be fucking Pittsburgh fucking Penguin. Um, I think that's it. Like, I don't know about no soccer or no shit like that. For I fuck with Serena, though, you know what I'm saying? What about? Uh, College basketball and college football. Oh, Duke. You know what I'm saying? For college basketball. Been that way since Grant Hill. You know what I'm saying? How do you feel about Coach K coaching his last game? It, I watched. That's the only game I watched, too. How about that? Like, was the, the tournament game this year. Because I was working so much. And I felt some type of way. Like, I felt like that's that kid just can't be it. You know what I mean? Because I've been watching him coach years, you know what I mean? Like, and it's just like, man, they, you know, they came out with a little April Fool's joke talking about he's going to coach one more year. I was happy as shit, you know what I'm saying? It was April Fool's joke, like a motherfucker hurt myself. I just feel like it's just, I feel like I'm not done saying that's my coach. Yeah. But I'm still going to represent Duke and still going to work with John Shire, you know what I'm saying? And still going to rep Duke, you know what I'm saying? But, and then I fuck with college. I fuck with, uh, fuck with the Hawkeyes. Of course, you know what I mean. I fuck with Hawkeyes. You know what I mean. I follow everybody else in the in the, in the, you know what I mean. Because I used to fuck with uh, the U, Miami Hurricanes. I used to fuck with them strong too, only because I knew who players were on their team and how good they were. But I'm a Hawkeye at heart. There you go. Uh, what about the Lakers? What about their their pretty terrible season? How are you feeling? What do you think? The you see, if, 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 if it wasn't for the years before LeBron got here, as in. The bad shit we had to deal with, yeah, it wouldn't hurt. It it, it would hurt a lot worse. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But seeing that the years we had before LeBron, and after Kobe, you know what I'm saying? It sort of prepped me for shit like this. One reason why it hurts now is because I thought we had something with Westbrook. I thought he was gonna be a lot better than he was. I ain't gonna say he he's. Total fucking reason we suck, you know what I'm saying? But well, you, you damn sure made us put a band aid out, I'll tell you that. Right. So, um. What about LeBron or Jordan? Tough. The reason why I see, I'm gonna be realist when I say it's tough because LeBron, LeBron, man, look, it's, it's tough to say I'm about to lead the league in points and be top 10 in rebounds and top 10 in assists and you got four rings but you've been there 11 times coming straight out of high school you know what I'm saying like it's tough to say that mm, I'm not the GOAT yeah. you know what I'm saying it's tough. Uh, it's tough I mean hey listen you know what you know what I mean? Not everybody can be six for six. Magic can't say that. Kareem can't say that. Mm -hmm. Bill, 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 I said Bill Walton. Uh, 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 what, what's Russell. his? Bill Russell can't say that. That motherfucker got what? 13, though. Yeah, you know what I mean? So I'm saying, like, 
not everybody's gonna be perfect. You know what I mean? And 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 to say Jordan was, yes, he was six for six, but there was a lot of you know he played thirteen seasons. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's tough to say. I, I how about I just say they didn't go to their own area. I can't say who. I don't know, bro. I can't say who the goat is. But I would. I I tell you this. If we're just talking about one game on the line, if I had to pick between two, picking Jordan. You know what I'm saying? Because he's a killer. Like he's not gonna listen. He's not gonna let me lose this game. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Where LeBron might make the perfect play, Jordan says, "Look, give me the ball. I'm we win it." You know what I'm saying? So, one game, cool. One season, LeBron. See how I said that? See how I said that? You ever see the Lakers or the Rams play? Lakers when I was younger. That's it. I wanted to see the Rams play. I kind of made it so fine. Um, how'd you find out about the death of Kobe Bryant? And uh, and one, what is one thing you did love about Kobe? I was uh, getting ready for work. And uh, I had some fucking weird ass fucking sound on my phone. And... Uh, I just went to see what the fuck it was, and it was just like Kobe Bryant just died in a car in a, in a plane crash. Didn't say a helicopter for just a plane crash. And uh, I was looking at a bunch of shit. I was looking at a bunch of shit on the fucking news on the internet, and I called Wes. I said, "Is this shit true?" And he was like, "Yeah, man, dog. I was supposed to be working too. I didn't make it there till like." 245. They were was shocked and shit like, damn, you're late, my fault. And I was like, hey, my fault, man, Kobe Bryant. I know, we was waiting for you. And then I, was just, I was fucking devastated that day. I fuck, fuck everybody that day. You know what I mean? Because it was like he wasn't done. I hate feeling like like watching someone die and the mission is incomplete. You know? Like he was just getting ready to be in the fatherhood like full time. Like he was doing that shit and his businesses was taking off you know what I'm saying he just I find I'm gonna say he just won an Oscar I think so like on a short film like he was just to me his basketball might have been done but his life was just like you're watching him get you know going higher than what he was already doing mm-hmm. and so that brings me into say what I loved about him was he had a motor that just never stopped yes you know what I'm saying like uh he didn't, he didn't, he didn't live life for just one thing. You know what I mean? Like, he felt like he could do more, so he did more. And he showed us all that. Being a dad and loving something else that you, you, you love some, something else, you can do that something else as well. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I love him, because his motor just never stopped. Definitely. Um. Your thoughts on the death of uh, Dwayne Haskins, the young NFL QB that just lost his life? First, I want to say Adam Schefter. He was bogus for that first tweet. Secondly, that's bogus. Like, I don't like him die. I don't like people dying young. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, that whole mission of uncompleteness in life. When someone dies under 25, that's. You, you first off, we scared to turn thirty. So someone not even reaching thirty is bogus as hell. You know what I'm saying? Like that's kind of messed up. You know what I mean? And then not dying on your term, you know, your own terms as like illness and you know heart attack shit like that. You know it's always bogus. You know his hands, his life was in someone else's hands at the time. You know? Yeah. Perhaps, uh... Rest in peace to a very young soul. Lots of potential, man. Uh, how, how'd you do in fantasy football this year? Oh, man. You know I lost to you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Like, uh, you he know writes the you questions. Mean, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? All right. Let's just get down. You know what I mean? We was in the same division and shit. We just, I ain't like, you know what I mean? I, I couldn't believe that shit, bro. Like, uh. I ain't gonna lie, man. Look, I thought honestly, 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 got two thought I was gonna win. You know what I mean? Like halfway through the season, I felt like with Derrick Henry, there's no way I can lose, and I had Cooper Cup too. Mm. 
So I was going, I was eating halfway through the season. Then I saw Derrick Henry go down. I was like, of course, of course, it's my team. Like for the last three years, if an injury could happen, it's going to happen. You know what I mean? I was like, when I saw him go down, I said, of course. He was giving me 36 points a game, of course. Like, I was seeing nothing underneath 29. Mm. Nothing underneath 29 points a game from him. And Cooper mm-hmm. Cup was giving me nothing underneath uh, 25. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I had no quarterback, so if they wasn't giving me that, I wasn't winning. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So I felt like I was going to win, bro. Then he goes down. Then Cooper Cup left, you know. Cooper Cup and Debo Samuel came alive. You know what I mean? I had both of them. And then uh, my defense also kept me alive, too. I had the Bills defense and uh, Baltimore's defense. Man, yeah, I thought I was going to win. Then you, you 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 start winning with God knows who the fuck they are. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, I don't remember who the wide receiver is from goddamn Jets. Brian All of a sudden, yeah, <laughs> yeah. this motherfucker start looking like fucking... Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 28 points a game. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you start winning with no-name goddamn players. And I'm like, well, I guess he's just going to kick everybody's ass. And what happens? Who wins the Super Bowl? A guy with goddamn burials and <laughs> no other name players that no one fucking knows about just wins. So, yeah, at least, at least if I lost to somebody, I lost to somebody who goddamn went on to win the championship. Hurt my damn soul, though, because I thought for sure this year was mine. I ain't won since we started. It was a roller coaster year. Yeah, I ain't won since we started this damn league. It was a roller you know what I mean? Year all you know what I mean? Like, I we're won the about, first. We're about ten years in. <laughs> first Super Bowl, and I ain't seen one since. You know hear I me? Mean? So yeah, this year I'm going in with a different mindset, and hopefully, you know, it works. You know what I mean? Because it's been a long time coming. In ten long years. And all I seen was one damn goddamn since the first one. I didn't watch everybody on the goddamn ring book me. You know what I'm saying? Since the first one. It hurts my soul. So I need to make sure that she is this year. We go in and we get the players that we need. I need to work on my bench. That's why I be slipping sometimes. My bench. Yeah. Yeah. Uh how many leagues do you participate in? That's my problem too. Sometimes I'll be you know what I'm saying? Start, you know what I mean? You know, I think last year I did four of them. You know what I mean? I need to calm down, you know what I mean? Because sometimes I'll be like up to like five or six, five or six leagues. Yeah. You know what I mean? I got to, you know, shuffle through all these damn leagues. Mm-hmm. So maybe this year I might just focus on two and see what happens. But I say that now. I always did. Someone always ended up asking me to be in somebody's league. And I'm like, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and I'll be thinking about the money. I'm like, if I win this league, that's that's two hundred fifty dollars. Win this league, six hundred dollars. Win this league, it's five. I'm like, yeah. I'm thinking around January when after I involve them goddamn presents and shit. That money, that, that money coming. <laughs> that, that money coming handy. You know what I'm saying? It's like he said, it's like taxes before taxes. <laughs> Especially if you win more than one goddamn league. Oh yeah. So shit. Um, twenty twenty two NBA Finals predictions. It might be a repeat, Bucks and Suns. It might, but who I would like to see who's is going and who's winning the series. See, this is a prediction. The prediction will be the Bucks and fucking Suns. Who I see, and Bucks will win. Actually, I think the Suns will win this year. So Chris Paul can finally get his ring, and they get it in six, right? Six, six. They get it in six games because okay. it'll end it at Phoenix. <clears throat> but if I had it my way, yes, I would like to see. I would like to see the Nets and Suns. You know what I'm saying? And see Kevin Durant in that dream because he's a killer when he's in there. When he's in the finals, he's a, he's a killer. Like, you know what I mean? Kevin Durant in the finals is it's a whole different monster, man. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that would be my pick if I had to choose. But that's my first prediction is where I'm at. Suns and six over the Bucks. Um, we already know you're a WWE fan, WWE yeah. fan. We already know that. But let's just go ahead and name favorite wrestler. All-time Undertaker. Undertaker. That was a big moment for you then. So how did you feel about WrestleMania? Did you watch it? 
No, I didn't watch it. You watched um, the highlights? I did watch the highlights. Like, Tear say, up at all? Huh? Tear up at all? Oh, on the, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. On the interview. I did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm going to say, yeah, on the interview. Yeah. I, shit. I turned up when I, I knew he was going to. I was like, oh, he's done. I mean, after mm-hmm. he, after he last, I mean, his last couple matches, it hurt me watching him. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because I knew his bones was just. Uh, you gave it all. He said, ah. I knew he was going to stay like, ah. Ah. That's Vince. I want that check down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Vince, send me that check now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just watch them. Like, I used to think like that with him, Ric Flair. Like, watch these guys wrestle at an old age. I'm like, it's not that I'm feeling sorry that you're hurting right now. I'm feeling sorry for what you're about to feel like in the morning. Because I go to the gym, and the next morning, I'm like, I'm like, ah, ah. You know what I mean? So I can only imagine what they feeling like getting thrown and... But I mean, I know it's scripted, but you can't, you can't fake gravity. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You still landed. Can't fake age. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah, you, you can't fake the age because when you get body tossed like that and they flip you in the air like that, yeah. you you might remember how to land. But when you old like that, you don't always land yeah, like, like that. Like you land yeah. fucked up when I went on the ribs like yeah. ah ah. Yeah. Now you in the back talking about hey, medical attention, medical My eyes are still. And the years of doing it. So. That's oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, you also talked about Bone Thugs and Harmony, but uh, who's your favorite member and why? Busy. I interact with Busy a lot more. Uh, a lot more on Instagram than I do anybody else. And that's my choice. Like, I could choose to, you know what I'm saying, interact with Crazy. But Busy's my, my favorite. It's because he's crazy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Busy's crazy. Busy's crazy. <laughs> Crazy's right, crazy. right. Crazy, <laughs> crazy got a, got the name, but Busy's he acts it like. I mean, he gives me more of an entertainment than all of them, so I focus on him a lot more. Um, his skill is crazy, you um, uh, know. But you know what I mean. I like all of them. You know what I'm saying. But if I had to pick, you know what I'm saying. Since you're making me pick, yeah, be busy. Yeah. All right, so. All right, so Celebrity Crush. When I was a uh, young, used to be Michelle Pfeiffer. Uh, I don't know what it was about that lady. But now I see... Uh, I don't know. It's Nia Lathan. She's always been my favorite. Like, if I even see her in a movie, dog, I'm watching it. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Do you have a high school crush? It used to be Megan Bobo. <laughs> yeah. Like I first heard her sing, dog. It was, it was. I was like, I was stuck, dog. I was stuck on Megan Bobo for real. <laughs> uh, Backstreet Boys or NSYNC? I was a Backstreet Boys fan. Yeah, I used to, I, well, I used to sing all those songs at school. Fucking, I think, yeah, I was a Backstreet Boys fan. Uh, Michael Jackson or Prince? Prince. Even though you know, what I'm saying I fuck with them both heavy, but if I had to, you know. Listen to one, be Prince. Uh, Mob Deep or the Dog Pound? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dog Pound. You need a million dollar hook for a song. T Pain or Nate Dog? Rest in peace. Nate Dog. Uh, favorite R&B singers? KC, JoJo, or jo, I'll just say JoJo C. I like them. Drew Hill, Boys and Men. If I had to say, if you're just saying singers, I'd say Wanye is my all-time favorite. Wanye for Boys and Men is my all-time favorite singer. Uh, uh, fucking, Are we, uh, no, I'm sorry. Even though I do respect Aretha Franklin, it's not who I want it. Uh, Patty Bavel, I love Patty Bavel's voice. Um, um, but I mean, those are my all-time favorites right there, though. What about uh, top five black sitcoms all time? Who you 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 really? Yeah, yeah, you okay? 
You little devil, you. Okay. Um. Martin, all time. All time favorite. Be, I can watch Martin any. I don't go fuck when the hell mm-hmm. day it is. I can watch Martin all time. Um. Um. I like watching. Uh. I like watching. Um. Family Matters. That's that's that, that's one of my all time favorites. I like watching. Uh, Moesha was on there too. I like watching Moesha when I was in the team or when I was up there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like watching. Uh, fuck, I can't think of the fucking last name. Fresh Prince of Bel Air, of course. Of course, because I watched that all the time. I can't say I didn't. And then one more. One more. Um, pretty mad. Uh, what about favorite Marvel? That's such. I mean, before then, that black TV show is such a hard question because. I don't even off like Jamie Foxx show. You know, there's a lot know, of good, you know, yeah, I mean? I'm like, yeah. You know what I mean? There's stuff like I fucking watch a lot. So Lance, brother. Yeah, yeah, like there's stuff that's such a Malcolm hard to say. It's yeah. hard to cut it down. Yeah, I guess it's such yeah. a hard because I watch them all, bro. Uh, okay, Marvel. back to Marvel. Marvel movie. Marvel movie. Favorite Marvel movie would be. Uh, Black Panther. And then superhero, favorite superhero? Hawk. And then if you had a superpower, what would it be? <clears throat> Professor X. Um, what is some of the best advice you've had, uh, you've received? Keep going. Don't stop. That's in, I mean, so... To me, it's when someone tells me, hey, keep up the good work, or, you know, keep doing what you're doing. So, like that, let's know I'm going in the right direction. So, I love it when people tell me that, is just keep going. So, let's know I'm on the right track. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, do you believe in ghost spirits? Yes. Uh, I, I generally know stuff is not real, but some things I question because. Just how how things are, you know what I mean? Like I don't know, like I know, like I know to say like, oh, there's no ghost. Okay, uh, how do you feel those things you be feeling over in the corner? You know what I'm saying? Like what are you feeling then? You know what I'm saying? I know if someone was staring at you back there and you look back and he was like, oh, bro, I, I felt you staring at me that whole fucking time. You know what I mean? Okay, what about that that feeling that you feel over your shoulder sometimes? That you know what I mean? What is you know what I mean? So like I feel something's there. To say it's a ghost, okay, fine. Maybe it's whoever you feels up above watching this. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Yeah, I believe in something. Else, you know, something else is there. What about uh, religion? Well, yeah, I do. I believe someone's up there. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's God or whatever, whoever you pray, pray to. I believe some. You can't. I can't explain to you why we're here. You know what I'm saying? So I believe somebody's up there. Mm-hmm. Uh, what about your thoughts on legalizing marijuana? Please do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like you know what I'm saying, like I mean, they might perceive it to be evil, but I've seen nothing but good happen with it. You know, like uh, I can't explain to you why Michael Irving smoked weed, but he got three championships. Why he did it, you know. Mm. Michael Phelps, I can't explain to you why he did it while he was swimming. You know what I'm saying, but he got a lot of gold medals because of it, with him and doing it. What's the best weed you ever smoked? <sighs> I believe it was, I mean, when I smoked this, like, I instantly tried to find this so many times. Was it uh, Sour Diesel Kim, right? From Colorado. That's what we had, Sour Diesel Kim. And it, I smoked this. Ash Ray, he'll tell you, like, like I, I bought a half of this shit, thinking, like, mm, it's going to be, it's top shelf, so it's got to be the bomb. I did not know this shit was going to hit me like that, like... The, uh, then we put fucking, we even put fucking, what did you buy? It was the uh, oh right cavi- caviar? Yeah, I think that's what you got. 
That's it. He had to put caviar on it too. So I was, we was at fucking, we was at fucking, uh, what's, what's that? Dave and Buster's. Fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? We went to Dave and Buster's in fucking Colorado and we was fucked up in there. Like, we had these pins at Wells, kept hitting that shit, buying beer from the bar. They also had a fucking, fucking restaurant in there. Fucking food was good as shit, too. I was like, God, I don't know if it was the weed doing that to me. But uh, that food, like, it tastes every bar. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, just right here, too. Um, your recent, uh, recently in Vegas, what were some of your highlights of that trip? Uh, besides that, everything was really fucking expensive. No, uh, uh, no, but what I liked about it is that you didn't have to spend money to actually have fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, the sightseeing there was so beautiful that it took up most of your time. You know what I'm saying? Oh, nice. Like, that's what I loved about it. I mean, even even though we did do a lot more seeing the comedy shows and, you know what I'm saying, went to some other expensive places as well. You know what I'm saying? Also, uh, I forgot that one restaurant we went to for breakfast. That motherfucking food was good, too. Uh, hash House of Go-Go. Hash House of Go-Go. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If you go out to Vegas, make sure y'all check that out. That shit was good. So, um... But yeah, besides the eating and you know, I mean all that other stuff, and um, I really had more fun fucking sightseeing and seeing shit I ain't, I don't really see on the regular. You know what I'm saying? That mm-hmm. shit was cool to me. Nice. Um, what about uh, your first time flying? I actually was nervous. So nothing can have me nervous, dog. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was rocking on the goddamn shit, playing and shit. I was all nervous and shit, feeling like you know what I'm saying. I'm 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 put, I'm, out, I'm out of control. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like the first time in my life I was. Really out of control of how things, how this outcome is going to be. Yes, I'm hoping that we land, but I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So I was like nervous as fuck. I was rocking back and forth on the goddamn shit. You know what I'm saying? Pissed off on the way back because I lost my goddamn headphones. So I couldn't listen to music on the way back home mm-hmm. to distract me. Yeah, that shit was like, I, that's, it's, it's not, it's not for big people. I see why they say, mm-hmm. I see why they say, you know what I'm saying? Like my homie was telling me to get first class. And shit, he's like, you might want to get first class, dog. You'll feel better about yourself. I see why, cause I mean, I'm not used to sitting that close to people. You know Small what I'm saying? Seats, bro. Yeah, I don't, and then then the air, and then the air is not to my liking. You know what I'm saying? So I really wasn't feeling that either. Mm-hmm. Like I'm, I'm used to wherever I'm at, that it's being a comfortable temp. So being that hot, hot air, people breathing and shit like that, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't. Not a fan. No, not at, <laughs> at all. Um. What is your favorite uh, album you've uh, released on GFG Records? Up in Smoke. I think because we did it and not thought about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think every song we just did, we didn't care the outcome. You know what I mean? We just we just made the songs. I think it's just because it was fast. Like, we made that album fast as fuck. Yeah. We knew when we wanted to release it and we were trying to release it around that time. So we made a song fast and every song to me came out to my liking. So, um, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Old and still making music. <laughs> there you you go. feel me? Uh, <laughs> being real, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, if Charlie Wilson can make it, still, I'm going to be making a thing. You know what I'm saying? Nice. Like, if Snoop is still making music, I'm going to still be making music, man. Like... I love this shit, and I don't just say that shit. I mean, I really love making music. The creating part is the most. You know, that's right. Them guys are about the business. But when it comes to creating, I'm right there in the line. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I love creating music, and so I feel like I'm probably going to be still doing it as long as my existence on this earth. Uh, describe yourself in five words. Five words. Exciting. Chill as fuck, though. Very funny. Uh, encouraging. And last one, I would say very, 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 very. I don't want to say sensitive because that makes me sound like a punk. But you know what I'm <laughs> I have feelings. Like, how about that? I don't know when. Santa. Yeah, I'm a very person. <laughs> I'm a caring person, you know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. We're wrapping it up. We appreciate you sitting down here with us at GFG TV. Shout outs. This is all you. And uh, once again, thank you for sitting down with us. Yeah, man. Hey, what's we'll saying, man? Thank y'all for you know checking me out. You know what I'm saying? Thanks to you to GFG TV for having me on. Even though I'm a member of this shit, I still say thank you. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You didn't have to sit down with me. You could have been like, look, you're part of the team. You don't have to do this. But thank you for having me in this seat. I want to shout out my team, GFG. You know what I mean? Records, you know what I'm saying? Ray West, uh, you know what I'm saying? K.A., HPD King, D-Man, KT. I want to shout out everybody in Des Moines that's doing music. Please do not stop. Do not let nothing stop you. Do not let nothing stop you from doing it. Or anybody else that has dreams out there. Don't let nobody stop you from doing you. It would be great. You know what I'm saying? We all on this earth to be doing something great. No matter how small or how big. So keep doing you. It would be great. And make sure y'all... Like and subscribe this shit to this shit. We doing very hard work down here. So we want y'all to be a part of it. The only way you can be a part of it is you subscribe and get the notification button. There you go. You know what I'm saying? That little bell over there that's ringing right now. Hit that bitch. And stay up too. You know what I'm saying? You know what it is. It's T-Bear. I'm out. West West YouTube, it's your boy Big Ray West. You tuned in to GFG TV. <laughs>